In this lesson, we're looking at the videos tab or page on YouTube Studio. So go ahead and click videos. If you are using the classic studio, a lot of these options are going to be found under video manager if you just wanna follow along there. So here in the new YouTube Studio, uh, here the videos, this video page is where you can see all of your uploads. You see a lot of information about your videos. So here are all my uploads. Some are public, some are unlisted. As you can see here, I use some of, I, I use YouTube to add like tutorials that I have for assistants of mine um, that I don't wanna be public. All of these columns you could take a look at. You can see things like monetization, if it's on or off, when you uploaded it, how many views, how many comments, likes, etc. You can edit your videos through this page. So for example, if you click this options button, it gives you options for going to edit your video. You can actually download an MP4 of your video. You can promote it, you can get a link to it, or you can delete it. You can bulk edit videos by selecting them in the left-hand column like this. And then you click the drop-down menu for edit. And now you can edit any of these things over here. For example, changing the visibility. You can also add multiple videos to a playlist. So we haven't talked about playlists much yet, but playlists are a great way to organize your videos for people to, to watch. And it allows people to find your videos more easily because when you search for a topic on YouTube, playlists actually show up as as well as the individual videos. So for example, I have playlists on photography tutorials or Premiere Pro tutorials, and those playlists actually show up. So to create a new playlist, you just click the new playlist button, and then you give it, it a title. And once you're done with that, you click create, and it will create that, that playlist, and it will add all these videos to it. Another thing you can do here is filter your videos. So you can filter your videos by views. For example, if we want our views to be more than 10,000, for example, we just wanna see videos that have more than 10,000 views, we can do that, pretty cool. Now, if we click on any of these columns, it will reorder it in terms of highest to lowest, or if we click it again, lowest to highest. So if we wanna see our videos with the most views, for example, we can click that views column, or we can click the comments or any of these to see sort of the greatest to least, okay? You'll also see this other tab here called live. So this is where we see our live videos, past live videos or, or things that are upcoming. We're going to be looking at live streaming in a future section of this course. Uh, so if you're interested in doing live streaming, then we're going to, we're definitely going to be looking at that in a future section. But because it is its own topic, we aren't going to be covering it here in this section. So that's pretty much it with the videos page. It really is just a page to look at all your videos, to see uh, an, a snapshot of, of all the information and data for your, your videos. In a future section, we're also going to be going over analytics. So we are going to skip over this analytics page here because there's so much to do with it um, and really how to use it properly to actually s improve your channel and grow your channel. That's what we're going to be covering in that future section, but we wanted to dedicate enough time to it. So Mike is gonna go over all of this information in a future section. So in the next lesson, we're actually going to jump over to the comments page. So we'll see you in that lesson.